Hi, Facebook. In a slight change to the running order, you are not the principal of college. I'm not. I don't think it's prophetic, is it? No. <laughs> maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe you're the next maybe, one. Maybe, maybe a few years time. No, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, how are you doing, John? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Back again. Yeah, you've you've been here a few years as well, haven't you? This is my. I reckon we reckon it's our fifth year for the studio. Fifth year. Oh, but I oh. studied here ten years ago. So ten I've years. Done a number what did of you study? I did the BA in theology. Right. Here. So yeah, but you studied here as well. I right? studied here, but it's not about me. This is about you. Is it? We <laughs> yeah, we went yeah. around. We, we, yeah, we worked it around. And um, so you, you studied that, and then what happened next? So I worked here for a year as an evangelist. Right. So, okay. uh, like, I, I know you know, but for those who don't, Cliff College is a place of mission and yep. opportunity. Yeah. Um, and so they asked me for a year to uh, work here, do mission, and plan an organised mission. So I did that for a year, did some innovation stuff around Brilliant. social media and media, which kind of led me down this path. Uh, but I did that, and now I'm back here actually as a member of staff. Oh, are you? I'm in charge of the marketing for the college. Oh, I oversee wow. all the kind That's of great. marketing and design Good. work. So what about you? So you study a little. We flip it around, <laughs> and then we'll Me? talk about our experiences, maybe as students. Yep. You studied yep. here. I studied here. I finished my MA in uh, leadership and mission uh, a couple of years ago. Okay. 2015, I completed that, and then since then I've come back to do a little bit of part-time lecturing. Great. Uh, just a uh, youth ministry course, right. um, and uh, that dovetails with my job with uh, Youth for Christ. Why bother with an MA, I guess? Like, I'm in that position, probably asking that question, because yeah. I'm in leadership, so are many other people of my age. What did an MA do for you? What did studying here do for I, you? I think it's sharp in my mind. Okay. And people have been talking about um, students' lives being transformed when they're here. I don't know if it's transformed, but certainly my thinking, and it just sharpened me. And I guess I, I you know, I'd, I'd done almost 23 years in ministry and had no formal qualifications. Right. So it just sort of like put a bit of structure mm. and theological mm. thinking. It, I guess that it was a bit of a refreshing, really. Yeah. It helped me from getting stale. And um, yeah, it opened my eyes to a whole bunch of new commentators and authors that I hadn't been exposed to before. Nice. It, was, uh, it was great. And it, it whets your appetite to, to keep your brain sharp. Yeah. And it, it, I guess it impacted your ministry coming away, yeah. reflecting on that, as it did for mine. So yeah. I was like young when I came here, 18, yeah. fresh out of college. Um, I like kind of didn't understand who I was, but this is like been a place for me of like transformation, yeah. but different from you, I guess. I yeah. like found out who I was in Jesus here, but also just met some incredible people. Like I've met you this week yeah. again, but yeah. you kind of run into a rub up alongside people who've been doing it for years and years yeah. and years and years, yeah. and uh, getting there in learning from our mistakes as much as anything. I made That's plenty right. of mistakes, still do. Yeah, um, and coming here having the opportunity to speak That's to right. people who. I've done it before yeah, you, because yeah. I think that's one of the things we don't do sometimes is we don't right. like learn from yeah. our mistakes and other people's mistakes. Yeah, so right. I really enjoyed that. What are you doing here this week? This week I'm uh, I'm uh, interviewing on the stage. We've Good. got a little stage in this market village, and we just try and get people's stories really. Yeah, so a great. lot of the stores that are here, we're finding out it's not just about giving out a leaflet. It's not just about having a banner. It's like what compels them to get involved yeah. in their ministries? What's the testimonies? What's the good news God stories that they're doing? Got so we just do a two three interview. Cheeky question. Yep. What stories most impact you? I, I'll, I'll do mine and then you could do yours. Okay, I think, um, I, I can have two. Yeah, go uh, for it. I'm yeah. going to interview someone later. But, uh, two. There's one with the um, um, foundation community. Is that, is, freedom, freedom. Freedom community. Um, that was a, a, a young guy called Steve. He's going to come and get interviewed later on. Uh, so that's good. just uh, phenomenal. The way that um, you know, the church had just given some real practical help and his life has been transformed. I'm looking forward to, uh, to talking more with um, with Rachel from Atalos. Yeah, great. Because that's just a phenomenal thing yeah. as, they, as she's using her experience of bereavement, yeah. and, uh, you know, that turned her life upside mm. down, but using it to, to reach out to people, yeah. but also to um, to engage the church. I really enjoyed it. If you Debs, Debs the student, she did some testimony yep. on the stage. I'm sure yep. you heard it in here. Oh, but she was phenomenal. She yeah. was great. Yeah. And just hearing, I think the thing you sometimes forget is what. When you and you'll get this, those of you that are in ministry, yeah. kind of every day, you sometimes don't see how far people have gone. Yeah, that's right. Because you're with them right. every day and hearing her story about from where she's come from to what impact yeah. Cliff's had, yeah. and going from being a youth worker because we're both, well, I'm not anymore, but you were in youth work. Going yeah. from youth work to being in third age, yeah. and actually how those skills transfer is such an it interesting is. thing. At the end of the day, it's about community and building. Absolutely, and, and I think that's what I enjoy just as much of the study. Cliff College has become a bit of a community, yeah. a bit of a family for me. So yeah. that's why you want to keep coming back and do things like this. Could you meet all with people? Might not see them for a whole year. It's great. But then you, you find out yeah. where God's taking them on their, their journey yeah. and just catch up. And I, I love that sort of thing. It's good to have you with us. Yes, thanks a lot. Those that are around the site can come and chat to you. Yeah, on the yeah. Stage. If they've got a story you want to hear about. Yeah, it. pop yeah, on there. Guys, good. we'll be stay tuned. We've got Play It By Air lined up, Bob Hartman, and we've got the principal coming up. So do stay tuned. We'll see you in a minute.